welcome back to the darkest dungeon and last we left off we had our first level 3 dungeon it's pretty nice I had quite a bit of fun in that but I have realized it's been some time since we've introduced other characters we kind of have like the same people come in through but we did have some new characters come in like uh, retro junior and I was lord of this place. Bronisha. Before the crows. So and we rats should probably send them in for a lower level mission and see how they perform. Maybe pop open some deeds. Let's see if we can find a lower level area. So apprentice, perfect. We can do the necromancer. That will probably be next episode. Maybe. Maybe I might want to get in like some level 4 guys before I go in there so I'm prepared. We'll see. But as of right now, we're going for Bronisha. Retro Junior. I believe his preferred position is third, yes. And we'll pull in. Let's see. Do we want Jerry and Star with Jerry and Kina? Kina is really close to getting level 3 as well, so we'll bring him in and we'll bring in Jerry. Or do we want to bring in Star? Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll bring in Star for another time. But Kenai, I want him to get his level 3 so he can start doing these missions as well. When we get our A team all up into level 3, we'll be doing a lot of good. Our A team to me is Rona, Star, Nicole, and Dazaran. That's our A team. That it, to me at least. But anyways, let's go and start. We're not going to need a lot for this. We need like... Wait, actually, no, it's it's a small dungeon, so we'll need like 12 food, a shovel, medicinal herbs, two skeleton keys, ten, eight of these probably, a bandage, one, that's probably good, about 3,000, we're not going to really need more than that, it's like an extra shovel just in case, because those are pretty, dang, we'll, we'll take an extra key, nah, we're not going to take an extra key, we're not going to need more than two keys in a small dungeon, I don't think so, I hope not, I always hate when I don't bring enough of something, it's like, man, I should have got that, like, last one, I wish I had, like, two more holy waters, would have got a lot more gems, the fiends must would have done a lot of good for us, and what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line, well, we're going to have to backtrack no matter what, so I think I'm just going to go straight first and then come back. Well, our first locked cabinet. What do we got inside? 450 gold. Pays off for that key that we used, and plus some. You guys are sure chickens. Oh, with some deeds! Our least amount of things we have is deeds, so I'm happy when I see some deeds. I, I probably should have brought some more keys because look look at that I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of things that are gonna could use keys to get some extra stuff and now I don't have them super sad Let's see slice off 80% we'll go for yeah we'll just go for a slice off oh we can't only attack the ones in the back that's right he can only attack middle ones I forget about that Bronisha needs to get his new skills too we'll have to do that be gone, fiend. Because those skills aren't going to work well for him in the back. He'll only ever be able to do party heal. We shouldn't have any problem for this whole area to be 100% honest. It should, should be fairly easy. Falls, a faint hope Ooh, blossoms. okay. Stun charm. We got a jade. That's good. Let's pop this open. And let us use this skeleton key. Hidden compartment. Nice. Wealthy a little bit of extra measure. gold. Cursed buckle, to the brave and which the really isn't that alike. great. It's giving us some like stun skills and blight skills, but it's giving us minus chance to resist in both of them. I'm not liking it. Let's see. Does anyone have any negative things? Some really negative. I'm gonna use keen eye on this one, and we'll throw some holy water on it. Nice. I got buffed for 30% damage. That's insane. That's a lot of damage. Up oh, a trap. I did not see that. Cruel machinations. If I used my guy, he probably would have disabled that. Singular purpose. Last time we had him disable ta traps, he disabled like every single one of them, I think. It was pretty insane. Yo, read the books. Ooh, forever change the hero in a good way. Ruin scow scowinger. What is that? 10% scouting chance, you say. Locked cabinet? We don't add any keys. 
Damn it, I knew I should have brought more keys. You know what? Do I even want? I, I'm, I'm liking we can get more loot right now. It's kind of bad to fight in the dark. Like, really bad. But to be 100% honest, man, that's, that's a lot of extra loot we can get. You know what? I'm going to risk it with Retro. Open it up. It was trapped. He resists the bleed, though. Good job, Retro Jr. Your dad would be proud. He really would be. Okay, that's a lot of stress, and I don't really want to get hero surprised. And we did bring these torches for a reason. Might as well use them. Eat food. You know, Jerry's the only one who's currently injured. He's our frontline man. And we pretty much killed everything before it was even able to hit us. We might be able to do two short missions if this is like really short. This is a pretty small area. We might, we might be able to do that. I have a feeling we will be able to. That will be a whole new thing. Two dungeons, blah, blah, two dungeons, and blah, I cannot words. Whoa, let's calm down. Let's calm down. Two dun dungeons and one episode. There we go. Words did correctly. Look at these books. They were unsettling. Welp, I'm sorry. I didn't think they were going to be unsettling for you, Retro Junior. And we got surprised when we have double monster surprise. Okay. Surges okay. As the enemy crumbles. Only six damage, so it's not dead. This should kill him though. Rush this advantage. Good job. Give them no quarter. Seventy-five gold. Yeah, and you were some rich skeletons, that's for sure. Back in walking order. Good job. Eating again. You guys are just freaking pigs. Little piggies, man. Just eating everything. I swear you guys just ate. Scouting ahead. Gonna have a battle. It's gonna be an empty room. Let's take the risk. Uh, inhales foul vapors. Oh, he didn't get uh, changed though. Okay. Who's got something really negative we would like to get rid of? I think... You've got quite a bit of negative things there, Jerry. So we'll we'll pop this on you. Disinfect. Ooh, we got money from it. Okay, so you didn't get cleansed of anything, but we did get money, so that's good. It's gonna have increased accuracy, so it's more than likely gonna get. Uh, someone's gonna get stunned. More, mostly everyone's probably gonna get hit because of their plus accuracy and damage. Did get stunned that time, Retro Junior, but that's okay. All these guys should die in one hit. Bronisha just healing everyone up, doing a good job about it. He doesn't have his stun or self-heal when he attacks creatures yet, but that's okay. Man, Kina is just me. I mean, it's weird using my name in third person, but you know, my character's just ripping through right now. That's why I like the bounty hunter so much. He's just a very interesting character. Oop, the last the last room battle. I'm ready. You know what, kid? I'm gonna have you read this. And it was unsettling. Got a little stressed out? No? The darkness holds much worse than me. Oh, it's very, very dark in here. Boogeyman? Boogeyman? Is that what the narrator the had to say? Struck. A blazing star is born. Boogeymen are gonna come after us, guys. We gotta watch out. Can't have that. Yeah, his skills are just not working in the back lines, unfortunate. Nice. Gone. You know, the more we can take out, the better. If you pull him in the front, that's fine by me. He's just gonna lunge or dick stab you, which is, you know, perfectly Destroy. opportune for me. Still does damage. But Retro Jr. is definitely having some stress problems in here, that's for sure. Let's play him a little ballad. Battle ballad. Or ballade? I don't know how to pronounce that properly. Let's do it again. I'm hoping for some serious crits. Unfortunately, no. No crit there. Let's go for the back guy. Only 7 damage with that 30% buff and all that. 4% accuracy to crit. Come on. Oh, looks like he... 
freaking Bronisha is going to be able to do something with the with her moves now since she got pulled up here. Oh, she might bleed though. Bronan, you are bleeding. Oh, you're not actually. I am incorrect. So these guys aren't unholy. So we're just going to bash him right in the face with a club. Very rarely is uh, does a Vestel get up here to be able to do some serious damage. Very rarely. Oh, now she's just going to get pushed back? Nope, she's not. Well, I'm going to dick stab you. I know it says Dirk stab. I say As it for a reason. Mount, so too will resistance. I do have another holy water. Divine benefit. You got healed. And you got some stress removed. Good for you. Let's get everyone in order. Even though it doesn't even really matter. We can just leave the dungeon. More bones return to rest. Decent amount of gold. To their abyss. I'd have to say. Decent amount of heirlooms. Deeds are like the biggest thing. By out of all of that, by far the most important. King at a level three, so he's not gonna want to come in there anymore. Jerry's got minus stress resist to Warrens. He's a Warrens foe, but he's a slugger, so he's got 10% more damage. King then got Dysomipia, which is a craving for alcohol. And Warren's adventure, D Warren's adventure, so he's got less stress resist, or he got more stress resist to stress there. Retro Junior's got hemophilia. He's as he bleeds more easily, unfortunately for him. But Renisha is a fast healer. He received 10% more heals in camp, which is pretty good. Overall, not too bad. The bleed resist kind of sucks our for uh, was the envy of this land. Bad gambler, Nicole. Why did why did she get that? Is she is she uh not allowed in there anymore? That increased chance of losing money while gambling. Well, that's unfortunate. Anyone else get any bad quirks from this? No? Deb got bad gambler as well. Increased chance of losing money. That's unfortunate for all of you guys. I think Dazaran's a cheat too. I think he acquired that trait. No, he's not. Unf good for him. It's not unfortunate at all. Let's see what we can do here. All of our guys are pretty non-stressed out. So we could go for another round with, with Jerry, Star, Retro, and Bronesia. Let's see what we got going. Gather three holy relics. Mm, portraits. Activate three animalistic shrines. I want deeds, man, but it just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. I guess portraits are what we're low, our next lowest is other than deeds, so... Let's go ahead and bring Star, because he's pretty low in there. Jerry, he's not stressed out at all. Bronisha, Dazaran, and Kenai, and Blockula. These all level 3 guys can no longer come because they're just buttholes and don't want to come anymore. And uh, we'll bring Retro Jr. again. He's probably going to get stressed out. Retro Jr. probably going to get afflicted, but that's, that's okay. It happens. This is a long dungeon. Oh, I didn't see that. We don't want to do a long dungeon. We don't have any uh, short ones. That's unfortunate. But we do have short veterans, like champion ones and medium ones of those. But we do not have high level characters. We could bring these guys and get them some XP really quickly. Let's bring our A team. I'm ready. Let's see how it goes. And Star. Star's gonna be in our A team for sure. He's got a he's the best man. With that marked in the in the combo together, man, it just works too well. It really does. Bring like that much food, two shovels, two, three keys, ten torches, holy water, bandages, medicinal herbs. Should be good. I think we got plenty of time to be able to do both of them. It's weird being able to do, like, we're getting better at the game so things go along more quickly. I like that. Corruption has soaked the soil. This is definitely Stopping not as small as the other one, but it's still relatively small. Let us burn out this evil. We're outside, though. We're, like, in the, the bad areas. What is this? Troubling effigy. Um, What was our mission for this one? Hold on. 100% room battle, so we're going to try and throw some holy water on this. Yes, has a powerful effect. Rona got last grass. What does that do? Plus one speed when below 50% health. Not bad. 
Twitching maggots and overgrown splitters. Eh. Not that big of a problem. Hmm. We can go for that or we can just go for the kill. I think I'm just going to go for the kill. As the fiend falls, That's just one less thing we'd have to deal with. Blossoms. Nice. The dodge. It's really good. And we'll try and go for the stun with Nicole. Oh, he resisted. I just don't want to. I didn't want him to do the extra damage. Was my thing. He got blighted, which isn't too bad. He dodged. What a butthole. I was really hoping he wasn't gonna dodge it there. Well, at least Nicole's dodging, and that's that's good part. Everyone is dodging. What's going on here? There's just too many dodges. At least we killed the maggot. Twitching maggot, it is. I say magnet, I mean maggot. I'm saying like the wrong things. He got debuffed as well, so he's got a way lower chance of dodging. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Yeah. Take that gold and continue forward. It's unfortunate we're all poisoned, but I'm not going to use our medicinal herbs or. Whoa! Blighted giant! Surprise! That's not good. Rabid Rush, it's probably going to add a blight to him. Oh, no, it's a bleed. Um, you know, I think it would probably would be better if he was back there. He'd probably be able to do less. So I kind of... Wait, well, yeah, just go attack the dogs. Just get it, out, get it out of the way. To be honest. Oh, the critical. That's not good. It's not good at all. It's just Wind Rush himself. Keep him healed. Or Reconstruction. I keep saying the wrong thing all the time. Nicole, we will do a Dazzling Light on here. Hey, he's got a chance of killing. What about Judgment? Judgment's much better. Nice! Into Critical. Give them no quarter. That was good. Burn in the Holy well Flame. Struck. Damn right. Poison Spores. Damn, dude. Star is just getting targeted with everything. I feel bad for him. It's just like non-stop, let's target Star in the back. And he's the most likely to get inflect infected with uh, and, uh, with stress because he's the lowest level. Let's just try and heal himself again. Seven, okay, that, that's gonna help. Tree Branch Smackdown, nine damage, that's, that's not good. A lot of rearranging. That is not working in our benefit. Let's just move her. Move her back, so we got this ready. It's just a chance to get stunned pretty high. So he's most likely not gonna get stunned. We wanna just do damage. Nice, I dodged. That's really good. That would have done a lot of damage to me if I didn't. Oh, 25 crit? That's fantastic. We're lowering everyone's stress down with those. Ooh, that was a lot of damage done. Just keep myself healed. I didn't get healed at all. That sucks. 14 damage, not bad. It's a judgment hand, 5 damage. The next attack should take him out. Hopefully. Heal yourself. Oh, you need to get healed again twice in a row? Getting zeros? That's unfortunate. Perhaps the turning point. That's just not working out good for him. Thankfully, we took him down. What's this? Unlock strong box. We'll take it. Eh, it wasn't trapped. Good. It's got 300 gold in it. Nice. I'll take that. Move on along. People back in their positions. Star really needs to start healing himself. We're getting some good heals on himself because he did two in a row with zero, which is not good. Nice extra food as well. Let's light up some torches because it is pretty dark in here. I did not need to use that last torch. Hmm. Well, I just want to take the front guy out. Because the less people there is to deal with, the better. I am just going to heal myself. Two? I mean, that's better than nothing, I have to say. Oh, the critical, that's not good. Skull toss? Ooh, he dodged. Nice. 
definitely gonna have to heal him because he's just struggling. Next thing is definitely gonna be Rona's HP. He's not looking good either. This thing is really fast, isn't it? Six speed, yeah. Nice dodge, that's really good, so he didn't get blood on again. Or get get bleeded. Seven damage heal, that's really good. And then a divine grace for six. Nice, I'm liking that we're able to keep everyone's HP up. Doing a lot better with that. I would like to be able to start using just resist chance. It's pretty high for stun. To be able to start using his vulnerability curse to start doing the double damage against him, that would be good. Nice. And he got the debuff. That's really good. Man, the is just hitting all the sixes in max damage. The 23. The beast, that was good. The greater the glory. Getting a lot of money from this high level dungeon. I'm liking it. We were starting to become a little bit broke because we upgraded a lot of people's skills, so it's nice to see it come start coming back. Alright. See this sickly body here? I learned something from this. Alright, you touch him. Ancient remains. This body looks well preserved. You use a bandage so you don't get blighted. He gave me some money. Which didn't pay for the bandage, but hey, what else was I going to really use the bandage for? For bleeds? Nah, man, I don't know what you're talking about. Bleeds don't exist. Hazards possessed by evil intent. Getting blighted kind of sucks there. You know, extra damage done to you is never good, though. Rabid Rush. It's gonna cause a lot of bleeding to me. Because they all have really good speed. I'm probably gonna have to use a bandage, because that's a lot of bleed on him. Definitely gonna Divine Grace them. Five, not bad, in the middle. Nice, he resisted the bleed, that's good. Oh, the dodge. That was that was not good at all. Do some tentacles in the back. Oh, crit. Nice. Good job, Star. So uncivilized. The damn right. Let's use that, and then let's go for... Just no wow, this guy in the front just keeps dodging. He's not the bro. Nice. Star dodged. I unfortunately did not, and now I'm bleeding as well. Damn, Stars is dodging everything. He's the new Neo here. He really is. Oh, the critical to end. That is unfortunate. Hmm. You know what? We might just want to do a party heal. Probably be best. And then take these guys out in the back. They both dodge. Dude, what is everyone dodging for? It's getting ridiculous with the dodges. It really is. Oh, my God. Can I please just do some damage? Take out one of them? Yeah, there we go. You and your freaking like pack tactics going on are really messing with me. Thank God I resisted that bleed. Bleed's already pretty bad. I'm getting into the later levels. Dude, everyone is on me? Come on. At least I resisted again. I'm gonna reconstruct. One, that's okay. Let's go for, let's just go for the full party heal. I'm okay, I'm not too bad off. I'm pretty bad, but it's, it could be much worse. 10 damage, all right. Come on, Rona, come in for the Zealous Accusation. Wow! Dude, these things have, must have ridiculous dodge. Such oh, another critical, huh? Cannot be left Rabies, what did that do? Minus 10 accuracy, but plus 20 damage. I guess that doesn't honestly matter too much. Get out of here. I'm done with you. Heal by 5. That's good. Oh, Star finally got hit after so many dodges. Oh, man. Keep them all healed. These guys are like, it wouldn't be too big of a problem if they didn't dodge so often, but because they dodge so often, like this made this, this last uh, really long. Four heal, that's not bad. We'll probably do a party heal again. If I was having them do damage, it's probably be faster, but 
Maybe bringing two healers at once isn't the best idea. Maybe bringing one guy who can heal and one who can do all three who can do serious damage is the better party composition that you can do. Cause I don't really have trinkets to make enough people who do really high damage. Like I wouldn't need to bring a healer if I had stuff that gave a lot of crit, but I don't have any trinkets like that. Let's see. Don't got a room battle there. And don't got one there. There's probably definitely one there, so we're gonna have to go to it. No doubt about it. Let's see, sack is empty. That's alright. Eat to regain health. We have more than enough food. We don't have to really worry about that. Use one of our torches so it's no longer in dim light. Unneeded stress is something I would like to avoid. Hold up. Okay. More gold, that's always good. Animalistic shrine. This is a call I'm prepared to accept it. Don't, ah. Oh. Come on. You didn't have to. Why'd you gotta be possessed by the dark arts to do that? The light. It's perfectly the fine. Safety. Not need to do that, come on. Scouting ahead, more than likely, yes, is the battle. I figured as much. It was pretty obvious. Ooh, what is this? This is something locked. Left luggage. Someone has a lock on it. Yeah, someone just doesn't leave their luggage here. A shovel is only the first test. and some heirlooms is How definitely nice. We have a lot of shovels. And we have not run into any form of foliage to take down. Up. Oh. Ooh, tenacious crone. Ooh, they got surprised too. That's really good. Come hither. I don't know what you do, but I want you dead. Vulnerability hex. Good. And let's do judgment on them as well. So I can get the heal on her. Not her actually having to heal herself. And then zealous accusation does that for us. Hits them both and kills her, which is really nice. Mm, we'll go for marking them again. Nice, it crit. That's really good for lowering our stress. If you crit a lot, like stress almost becomes like non-existent problem. Getting crit again though, definitely not nice. I'd rather kill that dude in the back. I'll do this probably over and over. Eh. We can go for the kill on the dog. We might as well just get rid of him because it's going to take a couple more hits to kill this guy. Confusion spores. Oh, that's not how I wanted my party to be arranged at all. Death and get critical. For the not good. Laps in concentration. Let's see. Move like this? Yes. And then move... I guess, I guess that's fine. Reconstruction on me. Eight, that's not bad. Can't do anything. That's just a turn of no uh, confusion pours again, you serious? You actually helped us out a little bit there. A little bit. You put us in a better position, so at least most of my people can attack. Or at least part of my people can attack. I'm just gonna mark him again. So he stays marked at the very least. There we go. That works out. Definitely gonna have to move him back. I wish I could have Kenai up here again, but that's gonna take too many turns to probably never work, to be honest. He's definitely gonna have to heal himself. Three, that's not too bad. Could be better, however. Almost in the right positions. Poison Spores is definitely not cool, though. Probably should have moved her so they'd be in the right position, but that's alright. Should be fine. He dodged. That's okay. He could finally attack. Oh, and he dodged? Seriously? Oh, dude, everyone's getting crit. In a single strike. 
Knock that off. Get out of here, you stupid giant. As awesome deeds. Oh, and that was all the battles? I guess we can go. Someone has camped here recently, and he got it stressed really bad. Well, you know what? Now nah, we can't we can't leave here yet. We have stuff we can explore with literally no recompression, re re with, with no negatives to come from it. All right, man, these words fail me so so much. I got all these keys. I got like one key. No, I have two keys still. I definitely want to use them. If there's like a treasure thing in here, I can't just pass that up, you know? And there's no battle in the next room, so we might as well go ahead. Ah! A reason to actually use our shovel. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed yes, yes, a victim. Misintent. Heirlooms? See, we would have missed out on these crests, man, if we didn't go over here. Hopefully good stuff. I'm hoping for treasure. But that would be a room battle, so there's probably nothing, actually. I just realized we haven't lit up the area, so we're going to get a hit a lot. And he's really close to death's door. Hopefully he doesn't hit that, because that's a lot of stress it will give to everyone. And he did. That's unfortunate. Fast or expire. Three, not bad. Definitely just go with taking everything out. No bullshit about it. Hopefully Zealous Accusation does enough. Let's see. It should. Good job. Rona's really pulling through with her, his accusations. He's like, you smell! You have funny looking ribs, and you know, they all die. They're just like, oh, I can't I can't take your, your smack talk, and you just they just go down after. Oh. Good stuff, man. Good stuff here. That wasn't too bad. Then we're gonna get anything from it. Oh my Remind god, see this is why we should have came this way. Look at this money. And insidious killer. Look at this money. You can't, you can't even dream about this kind of money. This is ridiculous. That was a lot. Holy moly, man. Some more crests? Look at that. Super dark. Yep, and that is the end of this dungeon. Let's get out of here. The agents of pestilence will yet nice rewards. Got a book of constitution? That's okay. Got like 11,000 gold. Like 10 billion heirlooms. You know, everything's just looking on the up right now. Jeez, that's a lot of crests. Only three deeds, though, again. At least Star is getting close to being almost a level three. He's afraid of the well. That's not good. He's got 3% more crit. That's good, though. Nicole's tuckered out. It's Clotter, so she has bleed resist. Keen is a... D is a dead hitter. Minus 3% crit when below 50% health. We're gonna have to get rid of that. I don't like that. And Rona is God fearing again. Rona, you have accepted religion back into your in your life and I can only pray to that. Sun shone, <laughs> and laughter could be Anyways, if you guys tavern. enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like, it's very much appreciated. It. It's been a, a fun two dungeons in one episode. I like it. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time with many more Douglas Dungeon episodes to come. I'm Sergeant Kenai, and I'm signing out.